He is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Hello and welcome to today's Monday update on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, yesterday we were recovering from Holy Week and Easter, so this Monday update is coming to you a day later than usual. I hope that's all right. Uh, we had a wonderful Holy Week and Easter celebration. Thanks to everyone who came and made it so special. Uh, a big thanks to everyone who helped to make it happen. Uh, we are blessed with so many uh, wonderful and willing volunteers and, and helpers here at St. Luke. Uh, there's no way that we could do it uh, without all of you. So thank you for that. I want to show you a few pictures from our Alleluia Adventure event on Saturday. Uh, we had 100 kids and their families uh, come to be part of this event. The weather was great. The volunteers did an awesome job. Uh, we are so thankful for that. Uh, and that provided a great buildup to our Easter Sunday worship, uh, where we heard about uh, the empty tomb, the, the hope that the empty tomb of Jesus brings to us. Uh, we heard about Mary uh, seeing the risen Savior, being filled with, with that hope and realization that he lives and then we hear that Mary went. We hear about Mary going, going to the disciples saying, I have seen the Lord. And that's powerful for us because it makes us realize that, that we too go with hope. Having come to know the resurrection of Jesus, hearing the good news of the gospel that because he lives, we too shall live, we go with hope. We go into a world of hurt with the hope of Jesus. Well, we have a lot coming up here at St. Luke. Uh, the busyness of the Lenten season now leads to the busyness of the Easter season. Uh, this Saturday, we have our Women's Brunch Bites event. That's at 9 a.m. Uh, there's still room left if you'd like to come. They've got a great turnout, but there is room for more. Uh, so it's at 9 a.m. at Meridian Campus in the Fellowship Center. Uh, and then next week is call day. Uh, that happens on Tuesday of next week. Uh, that's when we're going to be hearing about uh, who we're receiving as our new associate pastor at St. Luke. Now, since the call day service uh, isn't going to be happening until 8 p.m. Eastern time, there's an hour time difference between St. Louis and us, uh, we've decided to invite you to watch that service at home. Uh, there's a link uh, that you can follow to watch the live stream service. Uh, we'll make that link available to the congregation uh, via emails leading up to call day. Uh, the service begins with a worship service and a sermon, and then um, somewhere around halfway through that uh, is when the candidates uh, will then receive their placements. Uh, also, a couple other things coming up. Uh, on May 1st, uh, we have our Connections Luncheon. That's Sunday, May 1st, after late service uh, at the Meridian Campus. Uh, the Connections Luncheon, it, it's a casual luncheon for people who are new to St. Luke and would like to learn more about the congregation. So if you've visited a couple times for worship or if you've been worshiping online and you want to get more connected, uh, that's a great event for you. And uh, you can sign up for that at the sign-up center uh, at either campus, or you can drop me a note, and I'll make sure that you're uh, included as part of that. Uh, and then finally, our spring growth group material uh, will be ready on May 1st. So if you're part of a growth group, uh, you can expect that your group will begin to be gathering soon. If you're not part of a growth group, uh, this is a great time to join one. Uh, growth groups are small groups. Uh, we have about a dozen of them at St. Luke. Uh, they meet for Bible study and fellowship. Some of them meet uh, at either one of our campuses. Some of them meet at people's homes. Uh, but it's a great way to develop uh, deep friendships. It's a great way uh, to be part of a, a really wonderful Bible study community. So look for more information in the weekly emails about how to get connected with a group. Well, thanks for watching this Tuesday update. Uh, God's blessings to you as you uh, live this week uh, in the hope of the empty tomb, as you live this week as one who knows the peace and the power of the cross and the empty tomb.